um, is going to be categories. This will enable you to all your desktop icons, um, which you'll have on your desktop. If I can access my desktop, um, basically this will enable you to categorize all of your. There we go. This will enable you to ca categorize your icons if you want to. So you can put your games in a folder. Um, you can put applications and business applications in a folder, working applications in a folder. Um, categories is great. I found it really good and had great uses for it. Um, so basically to install categories, you're going to go to Cydia again. Your Categories again is in featured item. Um, it's a free application you're going to go straight in and on the free applications you will see their categories and this will basically enable you to organize all of your applications on your springboard and desktop follow the install button um, where it says modify at the top of my one it will say install for you um, follow the install instructions and installed and once it's installed you will find categories on your desktop and you will be able to categorize and set up all the categories so that's number four so now you've got categories installed um, you'll go back to your springboard homepage you'll see categories there um, it's quite easy to use um, tap on the categories and it will open up it will open up in, a, in an iPhone view so if you times it by two um, click on manage folders edit to edit the folders or to add a new one um, I've just added games on my one so basically what you'll do you'll click add um, if I just add a new one here click a new category so I've already done games I'm going to do um, apps um, which are handy apps or something for me to use I'm just going to label this one apps add the category then it'll ask you to pick an icon for the category that you've just added. So you can select any of these package folders here. I'm going to select a simple one, the first one that I come across. Just select that. And then it'll give you that icon for the category that you've just made. Basically, what you then need to do is go back to the categories home screen. Manage folders again. And then if you click on any of the categories that you've created here, like I've created games, you'll be able to add new categories to that it will come up with all your icons which you have on your springboard it will load them all for you you'll basically be able to scroll through and collect any games if you, that's the category that you've chose so select a few games and pop them into that category click done and once you do that you're going to go back come out of categories if you go back to your springboard you will see on your springboard, normally at the end of the page, it will put your categories um, that you've made. There you go, there's the games one that I've just made. Um, and the other one will be somewhere on my springboard. I've not really organised my springboard yet. But that's the games one. And if you click on the category, or the folder that you've just made, the icon for the folder, there you'll see, and you'll be able to open up the games directly from that category. No problems at all. Just click on the game, and it will start to load and open up for you. There you go. Uh, I don't want to rate that. So that's that done. That's categories for you. When you've created your categories or anything, you install a new application or a new extension or a tweak for your iPad through Cydia, just always click onto your new SBS settings that you've got up there and click the respring. And it will respring, especially when you install categories, it's a good idea to do this because then it will organise and pop them all on your springboard for you instantly. Um, although sometimes it will do it or it may restart if you carry on using it afterwards. So basically now that's going to respring my desktop, uh, my springboard for me. So I am going to be able to view everything that I've put on there. There we go, once it's reloaded... Everything's on there and it's working fine. Um, it's gone to the search page. Everything's working fine. Springboard is all there. Um, and I'm able to do anything that I need to do, basically. There you go.
So guys, number five, the next one I'm going to show you is Vinci. This one here um, basically will enable you to view your springboard and control your springboard from your PC. With Vinci, you're going to need to add a bit of software to your PC, which is called Twat VNC Service, or you could use any other VNC. Um, basically, this one is a free VNC server, not like go to your PC or, or any of the other ones. This is a free one, which is a real handy tool. Um, basically, you're going to need to install this, and you're going to need the same IP address, which you'll get from your SBS settings, which you've installed from number one. Um, you'll need to enter that into the connection here um, of your computer. You'll be able to connect to your iPad and as you will see in a second if you put a password in you will enter your password when you install type VNC you will set up your passwords and there you go that's my springboard so first of all we're going to go over to the iPad and I'm going to show you how to install VNC so guys over to the iPad you're going to need to open up Cydia um, and once CD is open and loaded, you're going to need to go to search. And now you're going to need to search for a application called VNC, which is V double E N. Uh, there you go. It will come up straight away. V double E N C Y VNC. You can also get a toggle for it for your SBS settings if you want to as well. Click on VNC and install this this uh, application. Basically, once that's installed, it may respring your, your springboard or reboot your iDevice. Um, and once it has done, I'm going to install the toggle here. So I've got it on my SBS settings as well as just working. If you don't install the toggle, you won't be able to turn it on and off. Um, but once you've installed it, this will be the same process that it will do for installing VNC. It will reload the data and then it will restart or return to Cydia, as you can see there. So, once that's installed, you can come out of um, Cydia if you want to. It's not a problem at all. It doesn't matter. You just need to then get your 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 uh, IP address for the, for the iPad. You need to get your IP address, which is at the top there. And in the type VNC, you're going to need to input that on there. If you've set up a password, you'll set that up once you're installing this software on your PC. Again, I'm going to show you this in another video. So this is just a quick example. Um, basically, I installed a password, which I'm going to enter now. And there you go. Your iPad will come up on the screen of your PC, and you will have full control of it. You can go full screen, or you can move it around and just control it easily like this here. This is your iPad on your PC basically with full control as you can see the iPad the iPad so that's number five that's the top five Cydia apps for Magic Apps Reviews for the iPad they are the free applications um, I hope you enjoy those now the next five will be good applications for you to enable to do different things on your iPad um, which will enable you to get around and view features different tweaks and tweaks for you. That will be in the next one. Thank you. So your first five applications there for Cydia, the basic ones that you really should get straight away to be able to control um, and access all of your extensions and your iPad to be able to access your iPad in two, three different ways from your PC. Um, so you can control the files or you can just control your image. That's the first five applications, the SBS settings, the activator, Open SSH, which you can see there, VNC, which is now put onto the SBS settings once the toggle's installed, and your categories, so you can control your icons on your springboard. That's the first five Cydia applications from Magic App Reviews at blogspot.com. Um, good luck, guys. Hope you enjoy playing around with your iPad and your new toys and toy tricks. And... I'm going to show you the next five, which are going to include multitasking, the dock down the bottom down here, as you can see, my scrolling dock, um, control of the springboard, so you can get all these icons on here. Look out for the next video, coming soon. Thanks, guys. Magic out.